This is the OnePlus Ace 3V that launched in China about a week ago and it will come to India as Nord 4. So we wanted to test it so we got it from China. What makes this phone special is obviously the chipset it comes with. That is the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3. We'll be putting it to test against all the other phones but before that let's take a look at the rest of the phone. Starting off with the design. This is a very OnePlus look right here and we have it in purple color which I really like but there's also a grey variant for people who like a stealthy look and it looks like a well built phone with a good in hand feel. It's a glass sandwich with plastic frame and when compared to last year's Nord 3, you'll find a lot of changes. First of all, it's thicker and heavier than the Nord 3 but since it's packing a bigger battery, you shouldn't be complaining. Plus, there's an IP65 rating this year which is an upgrade from the IP54 on the Nord 3. The camera placement did not change but the camera module is now bolder compared to the understated look it had in the Nord 3. One thing that did not change is the alert slider. Thankfully, it's there. Safe and sound. Don't say it. Don't you say it. left. Before we get to the performance and benchmarks, let's talk about this display real quick. This is a beautiful 6.74 inch 1.5K 120Hz AMOLED panel with a peak brightness of 2150 nits. Although the display size hasn't changed and it's not an LTPO panel, but it is still a very good upgrade over Nord 3's display. Plus you also get the Aqua Touch feature that we have seen in the OnePlus phones this year. In-display fingerprint scanner is placed on the lower side, unlike the 12R, but it works just fine. When it comes to the movie watching experience, the phone does come with dual stereo speakers but there's no Dolby Atmos support so the speakers does not sound as rich as Nord 3. Hopefully when it launches in India, it will come with Dolby Atmos. Okay, it's time for the performance. This is the first phone to launch with Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 chipset, which is the successor of the 7 Plus Gen 2 that we saw on the Poco F5. The Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 is a pretty solid chipset. It's a 4 nanometer octa-core processor and it is actually the same architecture as the 8 Gen 3. With one Cortex-X4 performance core clocked at 2.8 GB, 4 Cortex A720 performance cores clocked at 2.6 GHz and 3 Cortex A520 efficiency cores clocked at 1.9 GHz. It also has Adreno 732 GPU which brings a 45% improvement over the 7 Plus Gen 2. The unit that we have packs in 12 GB LPDDR5X RAM and 256 GB UFS 4.0 storage. So let's run some benchmarks to see where it stands. On N2, the phone hits 1.4 million which is almost the same as Poco X6 Pro but it is significantly higher than than the 1 million mark on the Nord 3. The Nord 4 performs better in single core but does fall short in multi core, where the Poco X6 Pro and Nord 3 beat it. In terms of Geekpen GPU scores, the 7 Plus Gen 3 is far ahead of the competition as you can see in these results. In CPU throttling test, it did not throttle as much as the Nord 3, so that's pretty good. Lastly, in 3D mark, it's almost at par with the Poco X6 Pro but takes the lead in stability. It also stays quite cool and only cross 40 degree mark once during the 3D mark extreme test. Since since it's a Chinese variant, we couldn't install a lot of games on it, but we got the BGMI working. And in our testing, it supports Ultra HDR plus Ultra settings and the gameplay was quite smooth without any lags or stutter. So the performance is definitely going to be a huge upgrade in the Nord 4 compared to Nord 3 and I definitely can't wait for it to launch here in India. Now moving on to the cameras, the OnePlus Ace 3V comes with a 50 megapixel IMX882 primary camera with OIS and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. Here are some camera samples that we took from the phone. Now, now, I won't be passing any judgement over cameras in this video because obviously they're not tuned to Indian scenarios or skin tones. Plus, I don't really think that OnePlus will launch the same camera setup in Nord 4 because it will be a downgrade over the Nord 3 cameras. But we'll see when it launches in India. Coming to the software, since this is a Chinese variant, this runs on Color OS based on Android 14. But in India, this will come with Oxygen OS 14. OnePlus has promised 3 OS updates and 4 years of security patches for the Ace 3V in China. So that will probably be the case in India as well. When it comes to the battery. This comes with a 5500 mAh battery with 100 watt SuperVOOC charging and that's another upgrade over the 5000 mAh battery and 80 watt SuperVOOC charging in the Nord 3. In terms of connectivity, we get dual SIM support, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.4, NFC, IR blaster, so yeah, pretty much everything, but not the micro SD card slot. The only upgrade here is the Bluetooth 5.4 over the 5.3, and yeah, if you're wondering about the 5G bands, that shouldn't be a problem because Nord 3 came with 13 5G bands, and hopefully Nord 4 will not cut down on that. Lastly, the price. This is where it gets very interesting. The OnePlus Ace 2 we launched in China last year at 22.99 yuan, and it came to India as Nord 3 for 34,000 rupees. This year, the Ace 3V has launched at 1.99 yuan, which is a 300 yuan price cut. So maybe the Nord 4 will also come at a lower price. 
personally i think it will be priced at around 32000 rupees and oneplus will give a 2000 bank discount to price it under 30000 which is going to be very interesting to conclude things, A3V or the Nord 4 does bring a meaningful upgrade over the Nord 3. It brings a better display, it also brings a faster processor, bigger battery, faster charging and UFS 4.0 storage. We tested it and it also might come at a lesser price. So what do you guys think about the A3V or the Nord 4? Would you buy it if it comes in India under 30,000 rupees? Tell us in comments. Also thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.